did you know the average consumer will read 10 reviews before deciding whether or not they trust that business? And then to take it one step further, 90% of those people will read responses from the business owner, which is why it's so important to respond to negative reviews. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jen Sargent. I'm the creator of Digital Sargent. I'm so happy you found this video. If you found this video, that means you're more than likely a local or a small business owner that wants to learn more about digital marketing, and I'm the girl to help you do just that. Before I get to today's video topic, which is all about how to handle and respond to negative reviews online, I kindly ask that you subscribe to my channel so when I upload new material all about local business digital marketing, you'll be the first to know and you'll be the first to implement it. Now, today's video topic is all about how to handle and respond to negative reviews online. Before I dive into how to respond to a negative review online, I am going to first give you some tips and pointers for each platform. So I'm going to mention Google first, Facebook, and then Yelp. So on Google, there are a couple things that will happen. Somebody will leave a review, the business owner will get a notification either through the Google My Business app, which you should download, or through the email associated to the admin account. And then you can respond to the review. Now, when you respond to the review, the person who left the review will then get an alert that the business owner responded to the review. At that point, the person who left the review can change the review and you will not get a notification that the review has been changed, but that can happen or they can edit the review or something to that nature. So that is with Google. Now with Facebook, somebody can leave a review or leave a recommendation, the page admin will get a notification of that and then the page admin can go in and respond to the review and there can be a string of conversations after. So whenever we're responding to reviews on Facebook, we have to be very careful that we try to end the conversation there and the conversation does not continue. If the person is just like malicious and angry and just keeps on talking, just let it go, Let ask them on the second time to take this offline and if they keep talking and keep talking and keep talking then just I mean at that point they're making themselves look crazy so just let it go and then with Yelp there are a couple of things that you can do somebody will leave a review on your Yelp platform the business page admin will get an alert and then that person can then send a private message to the person who left the review and then you can have a private conversation through Yelp that way now if somebody does not respond to the private message on Yelp, then I recommend within 24 hours that you respond to the review on the actual page. Now Yelp is a very different beast and sometimes those reviews will fall off because they have a completely different like situation that happens on there and that's a completely different video topic. But if you get a negative review on Yelp and you get that alert, I highly recommend that you send a message, a private message to that person within the first 15 minutes, you will have a better chance of getting that review resolved. So let's talk about how to respond to these reviews. Now I have worked with local business owners for nearly 10 years so I know how much local business owners pride themselves of great customer service, of great reviews and all of this fantastic, all of these fantastic things but sometimes there's literally nothing you can do. You can be the juiciest peach ever and then somebody will not, well somebody will say you're too juicy or however that quote goes. You know what I'm saying? So here is how we're going to respond to negative reviews. And this is what I suggest for all of my local business owners that I work with. I tell them to, of course, be kind. That is the overarching theme of all of this is to be kind and to be empathetic. And then you're going to address them as a person. So hello, miss or Mr. You know, so-and-so. You're going to address the elephant in the room. So address the issue, say, I'm very sorry that our clerk was rude to you, I will address this immediately and have an internal conversation. And then you're going to provide a point of contact. So at that point you would say, please contact me. My name is Jennifer, I am the owner. Please call me and ask for me so I can learn more about this experience and about how we can improve and do better. And then you're going to ask for a second chance. And then say, if I don't hear from you, I do kindly ask that you give us a second chance that we are the best taco bus in town and that we provide great service. So that is the overarching theme that I suggest when people are responding to negative reviews. Be kind, address them, address the issue, address a point of contact and provide a second chance to have it all like written down here. Um, so that's what I recommend when responding to reviews. And if you found this video helpful, I kindly ask that you subscribe to my channel. I post about 
local business marketing to help local business owners dominate and win in their industry. And right about now, there should be some in screens of more material that might be able to help you. I hope that you'll watch it and like it and subscribe to my channel. So give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And if you would like to know how I handle Yelp, because Yelp is a beast and a problem for a lot of people, comment Yelp below and I'll make a video about that. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.